Howdy howdy, Sue Devil here and welcome to a supplemental testing video based on a comment I got on my advice for beginners in multiplayer, specifically to really be careful when it comes to gyrocopters to, you know, because they're, I said they're a very high risk reward type of unit and they're quite vulnerable in the air to any other aerial units and I mentioned they can be taken out by even fell bats and carry in and very low level units if you're not careful and I got a great comment and I love comments I, you know they they help me learn and and uh, inspire new videos and everything else like this from Aurora uh, Aurora boss who runs his own YouTube channel which you should absolutely go over and subscribe to him he has he has a very very satisfying play style for a dwarf that likes organization like me, you know, but he's also just a top tier multiplayer player. His game is so on point and he just released a double dwarf uh, feature where he plays against the Empire and he has a really great build and I just love the way he controls his build and expands it. It's really, really outstanding. So <clears throat> the comment was basically saying that, you know, generally his experience has been that gyrocopters are are able to tank out a fair bit of damage and you know they aren't as vulnerable as i might think you know and i i would say i when i talk about vulnerabilities and the kind of testing that i do i'm testing one element of the unit you know i'm not testing every element or you usually don't do testing in conjunction with pairs or or, or how they do so. I'm going to do some testing to show just the pure vulnerability of the gyrocopters in the air, what you can do to mitigate the risk when you have gyrocopters and your opponent has brought counters. And I have a few games with gyrocopters obviously up on my channel very recently too, showing them in use better or for better or worse. And I have no doubts that a that someone as good as a worker boss will be able to micro his gyrocopters quite a bit better to to mitigate the risk of other flyers but I just wanted to show why I think what I think I think that's always important to show the testing and to show what forms my thoughts when it comes to why I think gyrocopters are very vulnerable so I'm going to go through a set of testing and um, show you exactly why now first of all just by basic stat lines gyrocopters are very weak once they get into melee because they only have six melee defense that means anything is going to hit them you know if you look at fell bats they're the you know some of the cheapest flying units in the entire game they only have 14 melee attack <laughs> but you add you know gyrocopters only have six melee defense so they're going to have a 48 percent chance to hit a gyrocopter which is just outrageous if you think about it. But let's see what the results. Let's see how do they handle. Like these these fell bats have no armor piercing, like very little. I think yeah, two armor piercing damage, and gyrocopters have a hundred armor, so they have a lot of armor. They don't have a lot of defense. But let's go take a look at how that battle resolves, and I will go and do a battle up against the carrion. Then I will show some kind of ways of trying to deal with single units and how I generally try to deal with flyers if they if I've come up against them. So we'll just you know put our lord back here. I just want to get the gyrocopters involved in the fight, and we're there. We go. I'm just gonna tell them to shoot. I'm not going to put them on skirmish. I want them to get in, get in a shot first. So we'll watch them get their shot into the fell bats. You know, they do pretty good damage. Let's just see if we get this going. Are they going to come and even attack me? <sighs> <sighs> They're going to go over and fight, my lord. All right. Get over here. Just get in there and fight. Now, they didn't attack me. I obviously got a lot of extra shots in. I'll just get my lord over here. And you can see, even though I got some shots in... It says that I'm winning. These fell bats are really coming on strong and, you know, putting a beating on my gyrocopter. And, uh, you know, I mean, I got in extra shots. They just literally went right around me and then didn't even engage. I'll try and actually do another battle with a better engagement. They beat me pretty handily. So let's go and concede defeat. And we'll just rematch. And I'll do it with other shots. And I will go and attack them. And I'll make sure I make 
change the attacker defender on this map on the next set of tests so I can demonstrate it a little bit better. <laughs> you know, it's funny when you do testing, the AI never actually uh, rarely cooperates. So here, we'll go after the Felbats directly. Felbats. And we'll just see what this melee engagement looks like. And Felbats are actually faster than a gyrocopter. They're 110 speed, a gyrocopter is 105. So you can't, you, you really can't get away from them. You can kite them over other units. So you can see in this battle, the I'm trying to get both of them on screen so you can see the health of both units. This unit's 350, this one is 700. And the, the Felbats are just having no problem at all killing the gyrocopter. And you just, you can't get away. You're not going to be able to get away from those Felbats. So let's uh, concede defeat and we'll go and take a look at the carrion. Then I'll, then I'll show some things you can do to try and counter that because your event, you're, you're gonna run into battles where you bring gyrocopters and they bring a counter and you're going to want to try and counter their counter so to speak so yeah they only killed and they only killed five bats I mean that's that's really quite poor so uh, all right so we'll go and just take a look at carrion which is the other cheapest flyer in the game they have less units than the fell bats so okay so we'll just grab a tune king because I don't have my use any general mod on right now and let's grab a unit of carrion and make sure I'm the defender. <laughs> of course. All right, so we'll get this done again. Check that. Get a unit of carrion. And let's jump in there and go and start that battle. Again, carrion are, are worst 350. This is the cheapest gyrocopter, I, but I, I mean, I could show you the gyro bomber is actually even worse than the gyrocopter because there's only one unit as opposed to three. But um, here, let's just get that. Get these guys, we'll put them on melee to show how they go up. Now, the, these carrion are only they're, they're actually quite a bit slower than the gyrocopter. So I got in a rear charge on the carrion. The carrion are oh no, they're not a lot slower. They're a hundred speed, so they're slower. But you can see. Gyrocopters are just getting beat down. It's not like this is taking three minutes to happen. You know, this is what less than a minute or about a minute. And the carrion are losing no health at all, and the gyrocopters just get absolutely demolished. So, I'll show a uh, something that you can try depending on the unit that you're facing. And usually, I bring two gyrocopters for this very specific reason. I don't think I've ever brought just one. Uh, that I can remember it's and it's because of this specifically so I'll bring two gyrocopters and we'll get uh, let's get those vampire counts again we'll get the master necromancer and just get all his abilities off okay and let's grab a unit of fell bats and let's see, we have two units. So basically the idea is that you try and sort of kite with one of your units and get rear shots with the other. And in this case, the Felbats don't have any armor, so you can actually do quite a bit of damage with these gyrocopters if you were up against something that had, say, a significant amount of armor. Let's just grab these guys, and I'll put them on skirmish, and I'm just going to put them separated. So you want to get one on one side and one on the other, and... They're both on skirmish. Good. So we're just going to shoot the fell bats. Hopefully they will engage and just not go right by us. There we go. So basically, I'm not going to be able to outrun them. And unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately he's gone for my lord. I, I really should put on my my uh, mod to make this happen a little bit better. But they they do pretty good damage against the fell bats. And that's really one of the, the basic ways to do it is try to separate your units and ensure that they are one's getting rear shots while the other is engaging or running away and that is the basic method that i use the other one is also very simple okay are you sure yes we'll end that battle and that is to kite the unit that is chasing you over to your range support so i'll just use one just because and we'll get in a couple of bugman's rangers and we'll start that battle and the idea again is to get the if the your opponent starts the chase he'll just click on your gyrocopters and send the attack order and and generally they will follow wherever you go 
So you put your gyros in front. I can put them, I'm, I'm actually not going to put them on skirmish. I'm going to take them and engage the felbat. And then you can see anytime I get, uh, it's not the best, but anytime you get near them, uh, like you, I just keep moving them around and kiting them back and forth and let my rangers have shots. They, the rangers and my range support will very quickly take care of whatever's chasing the gyrocopters unless it is something big like a dragon and still you still want to kite them to your range support and if you absolutely have to you can go and land your gyrocopters if you if you if you you know if you're alone you have one gyrocopter and you, you know they have two units like felbats or dragons or something that is definitely you're not going to be able to get away and they're going to kill you. You're best to just jump down or rear charge something on the ground. So then you can actually get support from your ground units if you don't have any any ranged units that are able to support. So this is, uh, you know, I can do maybe another quick test just to demonstrate something like the Skyhammer, which is a unit worth 1400. And again, we'll just go up against the Felbats and just to show you what they're like in melee and why they're so vulnerable and why you have to be really careful you know you like gyrocopters are so vulnerable in the air and you really do have to be careful when it comes to how you manage them because if you forget them they are they you're gonna pay the price so let's get this battle started and we'll see how this fourteen hundred dollar sky hammer fourteen hundred gold piece sky hammer does against the felbats you know, you can see it only has eight melee defense, and the Felbats are just going to town on it. They're just demolishing it, and we're, you know, are we going to last for a couple minutes? Yeah, well, it is, I guess, fairly tanky, has a reasonable amount of health, but there, it just does, doesn't have any chance in a, in a melee engagement, and that's why, you know, you would, you would actually, if you needed some kind of support, you'd just try and send it to the ground and then get, get your ground units to support. So the Felbats very easily take out anything. And they're, they're a unit that's only worth 350. And I can't even run away. See, they can catch me no matter where I go because they have more speed. And they will eventually just demolish that unit. It's only got 52 health or chase it off the field. And that is why your gyrocopters are so, so very vulnerable. There he goes. They just killed it. It's on the ground and it's gone. So anyways... Very short testing video to really, and I guess it's not the most accurate form of test. I didn't do seven tests and and uh, take the data. I mean, it's just it, it should be pretty clear that it is the the risk that I'm talking about when it comes to your gyrocopters in the air versus any other flyer. There is no other flyer in the game that can't beat a unit of gyrocopters and badly. Now you can kite a lot of units because a gy like gyro bomber only has 90 speed, but your gyrocopters and your gyrocopters with brimstone guns have 105, so they can they can kite a lot of units, but they're not going to be able to kite felbats at 110, and they're not going to have a great time, f you know, kiting carrion. You know, they can kind of kite um, harpies because harpies are. 82 speed but you saw in that game if you watched my game with Jenna on occasion where I was playing against his beastman he brought some harpies and I made one small mistake to try and get one shot against his minotaurs while I was kiting him to my range support and it mucked up my entire game trying to free those gyrocopters from the harpies and he tied up both of my units of gyrocopters and both of my units of rangers for actually quite some time before I finally freed them up and could start using them effectively so Anyways, I hope you found the testing interesting, and hopefully uh, Orca Boss puts up some more Dowie videos with gyrocopters. I know his micro is actually really, really good, so I'd love to see him controlling gyrocopters, and and particularly in a matchup where there are counters like uh, like Felbats and Carrion. I mean, dwarfs will just beat the Tomb Kings or the Vampire Counts. You know, but maybe in the Beastmen where you can have something, some kind of counter. And, um, you know, we know gyrocopters can be amazing if they have nothing to deal with them. But they are significantly more difficult if there is something that can. But there are ways to deal with it. You know, you can get your gyrocopters to, to line up so one can shoot the unit in the back while the other is just tanking some damage. 
you can kite them over to your range support and you can even kite them over to your infantry support by landing near one of your infantry troops and pulling the flyers that are killing your gyros to the ground because you will get a rear charge and they will do some damage to the unit they're landing on and you can bring over some infantry support to support them so hope you found it interesting look forward to to hopefully seeing oracle boss do some gyrocopter videos i you know <laughs> as a dwarf fan first and foremost I, I love watching all dwarf content and would definitely again tell any anyone who likes this channel you'll love you'll love his channel he's a very unique style he's very chill and uh but extremely good like really great micro and a very satisfying control of his formations you know satisfying for a dwarf <laughs> so recommend go, go on over there and take a look at his videos and hopefully he makes like a uh, a response or shows what he's what he's thinking because it's it's always a good opportunity for me to learn when you know these discussions start out because you know they're very positive in that everybody wants to learn something about it so you, you you have a chance to show this is why I think what I think and you can show me why you think what you think and then we can really start to understand each other and get a better understanding of how the unit actually functions because I test a very narrow a very narrow range of of abilities of of the unit's capability when I do one-on-one -on -one testing I mean that is as narrow as it can get but it, it in that set of testing it's also very consistent when it comes to what the results are and what they can show you and you've seen even though long beards with great weapons are badly underperforming and chaos warriors with great weapons are the best performing heavy hitting armor piercing infantry in the game pound for pound right now we could still win an engagement where I have five longbeards with great weapons and my opponent has six chaos warriors with great weapons you know it, it depends on your army composition and how you go about it and there's so much more to this game than just simple matchups but I think it's important to understand the fundamentals of the matchup in that this is why you really try to make sure you're careful with your gyrocopters if you're using them and you kite them away from any other flyer period unless you have range support or some other way to support your gyros in the air so Looking forward to hearing some comments, and with that said, I will see you soon.